first tighten, you see the screw move, now in reverse. Guaranteed to remove it every time. Rotor seized on, love tap. It's loose. Pushing the caliper in. Hundred and one foot pounds. Fifty three foot pounds, fifty three foot pounds. Pretty much you're going to lubricate the contact point behind here, use a pry bar, pry back, and apply some uh, uh, brake compound. Alright. This hole here is to access the brake shoe adjustment for the handbrake. So you can see there's a wheel inside there. As you turn that wheel, uh, I don't know if it's clockwise or counterclockwise, uh, it'll actually spread apart the shoes inside and it'll make your handbrake a little bit tighter instead of having to depress it so far down. So we're just gonna turn it a few clicks because it's not too far off. So if you take a look inside, see the gap between that pink spot and that sleeve? That's what you're spreading. So just try and get them even until you start hearing a little bit of noise as you turn it, and then back it off a bit, and then you're good.
65 foot pounds. And now you put the caliper over it. Like so. Put your caliper bolts on. Twenty-six foot pounds. And that's it. You're done. You don't need to put any C's here because it's a coated rotor. Just put your rubber grommet from your old rotor back on and you're done.